Welcome to our video on long addition. And this is our very first video on the topic, so we're going to start real basic. And then we're going to work our way up to much tougher examples. So where do we start? Well, let's keep it simple. How about 1 plus 1? You could write 1 like this, plus 1, and that gives you 2. Okay, so here these are called, for fancy words, the numbers we're adding, so we call them add-ins. This is the equals sign, and this is the sum. Wow, what a fancy way of saying that, right? Sum is a fancy word to say the answer to an addition problem. Now this sign over here, that's called the operation. That's a fancy way of saying add or subtract or multiply or divide. Why am I telling you all this? Well, we should know that when we use long addition, which I wrote out right here, we write it a little bit different. The way we write it is to say 1 plus 1 equals 2. So notice now that we move some stuff around. The sum is down here. The equal sign is right here. The operation whoop, is over there. And the add-ins, the two numbers we're adding, are right here and there. So that's how we write it. Now let's try some really basic problems to get used to this. OK, so let's try. We tried 1 plus 1. Next, we'll try 1 plus 2. And that equals 3. Let's try 2 plus 3. That equals 5. Let's try 3 plus 6. Well, what does that equal? 9. Let's try adding 1 plus 3. What does that equal? 4. And let's try 2 plus 2. That also equals 4. How about 8 plus 1? Well, that's 9. How about 7 plus 2? Oh, well, that's 9. How about 5 plus 4? That's also 9. So, so this is pretty much how we set it up, right? We put the numbers on top of each other. We put the sign, the operation, right here. And then the answer goes on the bottom. The question is, what do we do when we add 9 plus 1? Well, you might know already that that equals 10. But what's really important with long addition is that we line everything up in the right place. So here, I'm going to move these numbers over a little bit to the right. Now, 9 plus 1 is 10. And we write it like this, 1 and 0. Notice that this 1 right here doesn't line up with these numbers right here. Right? It's in a different place. And why is that? You might have wondered. Well, with long addition and with our addition in our numbers, right? when you put a 1 next to another number, that means how many tens how many tens you have in a number right so here and this is kind of funny right because 10 has one 10 and nothing else so what does that mean well this is how many tens there are this number means how many ones so 10 is made up of one 10 and no ones so in the next video we're going to look at long addition when we deal with numbers in the tens. So from 10, maybe even all the way up to 100. But who knows? That might take a couple of videos to get there. So I hope you watch. Thanks.